with the next approach, the person from sales loft or whoever it might be is connected to that prospect. So there might be some kind of tie or relationship there. Um, you, I, I think what I'm going to describe is when it's someone from your company, but if you're close enough to someone else and you know they're connected to someone you're prospecting, there is zero harm asking someone and just saying, look, can I be a bit cheeky and ask you how, if you know this person well, the worst they're going to say is, sorry, I don't feel comfortable doing it. And that's fine. But um, I actually had one of my target accounts that I have been hounding <laughs> for a very long time. And I reached out to someone that I've met over Zoom. Um, and that's it really. But I don't know them particularly well. And I saw they were connected to my prospect who I've been trying to get after for so long. And I asked them to reach out to her. And he said, yes, reached out. And, and I got loads of great information about that prospect. Um, wasn't a good fit for Salesloft at this time, but great, that saves my time, right? So you can do it with mutual connections. I think just be really human and be like, look, I know this is a really cheeky ask, um, but I just, ha I just really, I really want to get into this account. And I know you're connected to this person. Would you feel uncomfortable if I um, asked you to message them on my behalf? And if they say no, that's fine, like completely fine. Um, but the other way is you can use on Sales Navigator, there's Team Link Intro, and then there's also Exec Team Link Intro. I think that's what it's called. Um, it's changed. It used to be under Spotlights, but now it's under Best Path In. So they've changed the position of it in case you can't find it, because I couldn't find it. <laughs> I nearly cried. <laughs> but it's under like Best Path In, and it says Executive Team Link Intro. Ideally, that's the one that I want to click because then it's showing an exec at Sales Loft who's connected um, to my prospect, essentially. And what you can do is you can actually just upload a list of your um, Salesforce accounts into SalesNav, filter via the seniority, and then click that uh, exec team link intro. And it's going to show you all the accounts that you own, the correct seniority, and all of the people within those accounts who are then connected to an exec at Salesloft, as an example. So then I'll go through those. I will um, open it up in LinkedIn because most of our, I think most exec teams don't have Sales Navigator. So make sure you open it up in LinkedIn, send it to the person who's connected on Salesloft side and just ask, do you know this person? Um, and if they say no, I'm probably just going to ask them to message them anyway. But I've had scenarios where um, someone at Salesforce was like, that's my neighbor. And I was like, what? He was like, yeah, that's my neighbor. And I was like, can you message him? And he just WhatsApped him and got me a meeting the next day. And I was like, I've been targeting this company for a long time. And you WhatsApp him and I have a meeting the next day. So it's like, you sometimes don't know about the relationships that people have on your company side with prospects. Um, so just asking the, like from those from that list, the um, executive team link intro, just asking them, do you know this person? And if they say yes, how do you know them? And then asking to just draft a message on um, behalf of you as well. So I, I've done a, a, a um, what's it called? A newsletter post on this, so I can I can share the link with it. Um, but I cannot tell you how many meetings I booked. I think it was like November and December. I booked a crazy amount of meetings from this approach. Um, and I've really filled up my pipeline from it. So it's something I really recommend today.